Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Let me go back many years in my, in my life when I was first getting underway in ministry. Um, it was my choice privilege to work alongside a very gifted man of God. He was all the things I was not. He was scholarly. He was well-versed in the scriptures. He was seasoned as a preacher and profound as a teacher. He was a man who was therefore in great demand. His popularity was strong. Wherever he went, it seems there were crowds. Though I never once knew him to deliberately attempt to draw a crowd, his reputation had earned the respect of the public. And Christians, and interestingly, non-Christians alike, would come to places where he would minister, and most often to the church that he pastored where I worked alongside him. I was on his staff, and mine was an enviable position as his assistant and as his helper. I had access to him and was given virtual carte blanche entrance into his, into his life. We on occasion traveled together, and um, it was always my, my privilege to be near him and to uh, serve him. Uh, I might add, it was a heady opportunity. For example, when I would preach, uh, in his absence, I enjoyed crowds that his reputation had earned, not mine. Mine was a borrowed popularity in those days. I'll never forget the occasion when a layman who loved me enough to, to talk to me in words of truth gave me a warning. He watched us work in tandem with each other, and he saw how my senior colleague um, loved me and trusted me, and he saw our relationship, which was healthy and wholesome. And he told me uh, privately on an occasion when we were in his car that I should watch out for the enemy. He said that uh, I should guard myself against name-dropping, against attempting to gain attention because of the man that I had been selected to work with. Mine was a privileged position, he reminded me, and I should never take it for granted or ever take unfair advantage of it. Very wise and pointed counsel. Wasn't said to me uh, with suspicion uh, in fact, he said to me as he began talking so honestly with me, he said, I have no reason to think that those things have happened or will happen. I just want you to know, as an onlooker, as an officer in the church, and as a friend of both of you, yours is the more precarious of the two. You enjoy many of the benefits that you have not earned over the years. He has earned them. And his is the role of significance. Yours is a role of assistance. And again, he didn't mean that to put me down. It was a wise, necessary, and reliable piece of counsel. What he was concerned about was secret greed. Greed is a desire for more. More power, more pleasure, more money, more stuff. But in reality, greed is a thief. It robs you of peace, joy, and contentment. The only thing greed gives you is a stunted life. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, 
Gehazi, The Servant Who Got Greedy, was copyrighted in 1990, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2013 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.